Hello Wastelanders, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Horizon. So if I sound a little bit, um, well, different than normal, it's because I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because, uh, well, it's 3 a.m. and I'm recording. Um, I kind of came home from work and just sort of passed out. So, uh, yeah, I kind of slept, um, through the evening and now it's 3 a.m. and uh, I'm wide awake. So I guess we're doing a video because I have nothing better to do. And I'm sure my neighbors probably don't appreciate me recording at 3 a.m. But anyway, I think we have a rad storm rolling in. I did sleep for the night, but uh, ugh, this is uh, this is not great. I almost want to go and skip time to force a weather reset to see if it goes away. Um, how could I skip? T I need a chair to skip time, right? You can't just... Unfortunately, you kind of have to have a chair or something to skip time. Okay, crate bench, there it is. We're gonna sit down and uh, have ourselves a little skip here. Radstorm, go away, please. Thank you. It doesn't make any sense that we can do that and just not receive any rads, but that is how the game mechanic works, so I'll use it. Um, so, I have a couple of new guns here, and I want to maybe improve these a bit, so let's take a look at this. It's got pretty bad range, but I believe the bull, yeah, the bull barrel had pretty good range, only co oh, it costs like nothing to do this, so we're gonna do that. Um, the heavy receiver is not too terribly expensive, so we can do that. And I could do... I cannot do the Crude Suppressor just yet. I need a stealth level before I can do that. Okay, well... We could do a Muzzle Break for Reduced Recoil, I suppose. Um, is it worth it? It's only one Adhesive. Adhesive is the only thing I really care about on these at the moment. I do have 5.56 five, for this as well, but I'm going to stick with the 30 rounds for now. So yeah, this will be, this will be my, let's turn the item lock on. That way we can't get rid of it accidentally. Can I do anything with this thing? I can't do the good condition yet. Need more metal working skill. I cannot upgrade it. Either. Okay, well, then I guess, uh, just do that. So I'm mainly open for now. And, uh, this thing is fine. This thing, we still cannot do too much with it. These are not better, I'd assume, than the long barrel. No. It does have very good range and upgrade, though. Full stock is fine. I don't think we can do anything as far as the capacitor goes. Actually, we could do this, but we need energy weapon parts, and that would be a decent upgrade, so... This is... Oh, actually, we just need energy weapon parts and one nuclear material. Just one stinking nuclear material, and I could do this. Just one. Even though I'm not supposed to be using my nuclear material, I, like... Worth it for an early game weapon upgrade. Do I have anything I can scrap in here? Nah, not really. Not so much. Okay, I think the game's telling me to go out there and kill some people. And take their stuff. Okay, fair enough. Um, I've got my ammo that I want to use. I've got a crappy fusion core, and this has a fusion core in it. I think we are going to use the uh, power armor. Um, we're just going to use up this crappy stuff, right? We're going to use up the ruined stuff. I mean, it has good enough DR on top of... Uh, yeah, it's fine. We'll just use it up. I am going to probably see if I can do a little bit of crafting on the arm that we got, because it's a pretty decent arm, so uh, this is pretty... well, never mind. We don't have metal working skill, do we? Need more metal working skill. I lied. I was going to upgrade these, but I don't have the skill for it yet, and that actually requires 50. Okay. Guess we won't then. And these are all just cosmetic now, I believe. Yeah, they're just for fun. So. Alright, um, as far as, well, I can't go higher on metalworking, can I? Oh, I could actually 
get so, well, I could get some metalworking skill. What am I at now? Would be the question. Oh, we're still one short. So even if I put 20 in there, I'd be one short of making an upgrade. Okay, well, I'm just going to hold off for now. Then on that point, I don't know what I'll do with it. Uh, science, well, science is not for a while yet. That's not till level seven or eight. Yeah, level seven. Okay. All right. Uh, yes, once again, the game is telling me to go out there and kill some people. So that's what we'll do. Actually, I should have, I guess, taken my armor off before I did this because the armor that you're wearing doesn't stack with the armor that's on the power armor. I mean, our DR is pretty good without it. The main thing that I would like from the power armor is the carry weight. The carry weight is just massive. I'm gonna keep this on for now. It's not that big of a difference. Even though it won't boost our carry weight in the power armor, it still is like, it's so minimal. Might as well have it on, you know, just in case. Okay, that works for me. And we're a little bit hungry, so let's take care of that. Um, or not. At least we're not th super thirsty yet, so that's good. Don't have parasites or anything, do we? No, we're good. It's just normal horizon. To have to eat so damn much. Okay. So, um... The people should be here now. It's like a settler on my... HUD there, that icon. Uh... I don't know. You gotta talk to, um... What's-his-face, though, and get the quest. You hanging in there? Oh, well, I guess so. Yeah. Hey, Sturgis. Well, I'd, do some work. I'd be glad to help. Just tell me what you need. <laughs> well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for two... Okay. I'm not gonna go through all the dialogue for all of these starter... I'm sorry. I don't need to be in the power armor for this either. I'm going to do some building real quick here to get the sanctuary stuff going. It's free experience. Might as well get it done. Doesn't take long. Let's do some bunk beds because Wanderer's lazy. Doesn't care about his settlers. There's barely room to get in there. You know what? These people, I didn't ask to be their leader. They elected me. So they get what they get. They'd be dead if it wasn't for me. As far as my character is concerned. They owe him. So the fact that he's doing all this crap for him, well... That's just a bonus. Call it a future investment. Uh, do I want a regular turret? Or, yeah, like, I just, uh... Did, uh, did they get rid of... Hold on. Oh, that's, that's the wrong thing. Uh, did... I was gonna say, he didn't get rid of all his... Interesting turrets, did he? Oh, no, he didn't. They're all still here. Are these any different than these? 24884? No, they're all the same. Okay. Just making sure. I like the tire iron, the tire one the best, because I can just tell. Do I want to do this? Uh, do a second one? Yeah, whatever, it's fine. And then we need some food. Now, the food might be an issue. Might have to go over to Abernathy's and steal all their food. So, it's going to be over in Architect again, and... Yeah, because I want to do the 10 row one... So apparently it requires eight potato eight potatoes. Um, it's kind of a. Uh... Oh wait. They all require eight potatoes. Yeah. So it gives you twenty rating, but only requires eight. So it's very very efficient to do these whenever possible. I I like that, but at the same time, it's kind of a pain. Let's go talk to Abernathy real quick and get his uh, 
daughter's locket back to him, get that quest done, we'll get Abernathy Farm, steal all his Tatoes, and then bring him back to here and set him up over here. You can do it. I did turn off the um, the Horizon Weather add-on. I mean, I like it, don't get me wrong. And I understand that it's my ENB, but like I'm not playing without the ENB that I've always used. I think it makes the game look a thousand times better. So if it's between the weather mod or my ENB, then I'm going to pick my ENB. It's not my ENB, it's uh, Wolfgrim Dark's ENB. It's the Institute Advanced Systems Design ENB, if you're curious. Just be aware, if you go to his mod page, um, there are lots of pictures of uh, half-clothed dudes on it. So, oh, there's no Tato's here. I can't... I, I, wait, did I already get them? Did I, already, I didn't already... Did they nerf this? You can't come here and loot these immediately? I'm in some real trouble here. I hope you can help. Um... But you look different than normal. You don't always look like this, do you, Lucy? You, doesn't Lucy look different? Horizon didn't overhaul any of... Like, you didn't... You don't I normally don't have the... Do. You don't normally have the bob in the back. Right? It's normally just... I mean, don't get me wrong, I like your hair better like this, Lucy, but, um... It looks different. That's I don't think I installed enough, a mod for that. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. Oh my, there's a texture fighting over there. Okay, um, yeah, I'm friendly. Okay, I'm friendly. Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned, we're armed here, so don't try anything. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it, spent watching your back. Farming's hard work. Won't argue with that. Blake Abernathy, you new to the Commonwealth? I'm... yeah. You could say that. Good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about working the land? I'm sure I'll give it a try someday. Well, good luck to you then. Maybe I'll see you at the Diamond City Market someday and we'll do a swap. Word of advice though, if you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? Bastards, all of them. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. There's nothing worse than losing a child. Believe me, I know. I'm sorry to hear you say so. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. I took care of some raiders earlier. I think I found the locket you're talking about. You serious? That's great news. Connie's gonna be speechless. I'm sure she'll go lean on her prices after what you've done. And feel free to use our workshop. Least we can do. Well, it was a bunch of experience anyway. Uh, 400. And... We can now loot everything here, which is good. Of course, it's not actually purified water. There's that's that was such a massive nerf. I don't I don't know if I, I'm sure someone who knew what he was doing, but um, yeah, it was pretty crazy how big of a nerf that was to make all the the purified water into just random aluminum canisters, and now you have no guaranteed easy purified water early game. And, uh, as I've seen, like, making, like, actually making, uh, the sanitized water is pretty difficult, so I really kind of just want to scrap all in this place, guys. I, I know that some of you will not like it, but, like, it, it, it really doesn't seem like it's been that big of a, dish, a deal, you know? I mean, the thing is, like, people said, oh, well, you might have some textures fighting. Well, look, we've already got textures fighting, right? Like, we've, we've already got textures fighting. So, I mean, 
Eh. Does it really matter? Why is this fighting? Marker cat sunning. That must be... That must, nah, that's probably not it. I can't scrap this, though, anyway. Okay, well, cool. So the, the shack is no longer scrappable right away, which is good. I like that. I do like this uh, extra shack here. What is this here? Summon upgrade. Okay, so I can do a whole bunch of stuff here. So I can get rid of the electrical tower. wonder if that gives us anything. Um, okay, fine. I'll do a scrap cleanup station. Fine, Horizon. Um, what am I... Uh, it's in utilities, right? Need some... I need a tool. Any tool. Surely you've got like a hammer laying around here somewhere. Is a cooking pot a simple tool? No. Regular pot? No, I can't even do anything with that. Um... I mean, you gotta have like a hammer around here or something. I don't think a rusted table knife will do. Uh, oh wait, shovel. That's a tool, right? Yes, there we go, simple tool. Okay. It's time to clean up your messy place and let's just do everything. Uh, where's the remove all option? Scrap all, yes. Then yeah, we can scrap all of these for a Tato. Now, unfortunately, I, I think that when you plant a regular Tato, normally you don't get a Tato back. So yeah, the idea here would be that we can make, well, like one or two rows of food that should give 20 rating, which should be enough to... There should be plenty to keep... Um, both Abernathy Farm and these guys, or Abernathy Farm and Sanctuary Fed. I would think. So let's see here, 10 rows. I need some steel. Okay, we'll wait a second for... There we go, that'll work. So yeah, we got plenty of potatoes for this, so we'll do um, one here, and then I can do another one here if I wanted to. This only requires one each, huh? Yeah, yeah. Do, do your thing, outfitter. Go equip my settlers. Because I'm too lazy to do that. Micromanaging settlers is like a step too far for me. Um, I guess we can... Okay, we're done. Cool. I guess we can... Yeah, I mean, we can do one each on... Like, we can do three of these, right? Or... Do I do three of them here? I could do some... I need some defense here, too. Can I do any defense? Do you have... I don't think you have enough stuff here to do any, de any defense. I could do a guard post. Like a basic crappy guard post. Probably would be... enough for now. It does require some base... It's fine. So did I get everything that I wanted in here? Is everything been scrapped. Didn't scrap the trash, for whatever reason. The uh, items are considered trash. Or this, which is a bunch of basic circuitry. This is why, I mean, maybe, you know, you would not want to scrap all of their belongings. Maybe it's that way for a reason. But personally, uh, I do want to scrap all their belongings. I could care less about the roleplay aspect of it. Is that Pretty sure I'm not sure what that was actually. Um, okay, so let's get rid of that and let's see if we can do a bunk bed back here. Sorry, Lucy, you're gonna be bunking. With somebody else. Why is that? Do I have to do object snapping off, I guess, to put this in here? That's kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Now I have to line it up on the bottom, too. 
Oh, that's... Well, 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 it's a tight squeeze up there, but uh, I'm sure you guys will figure it out. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be okay. I'm sure. This thing's gonna go, so I have room for this. And that's all we got room for. Okay, well, we have enough room for them, at least. Um, I've got two assigned here. Oh, they, they have they have um, all the melons in the back that I gotta scrap, too. Then we'll get Blake doing his thing. Get off of them melons, Blake. No, don't you dare. Okay, now... You... Go be a guard. Can I not... Uh, yeah, there we go. There we go, you're now a guard. We have defense, we got food, we got water. Just barely enough water. I don't have the stuff for anything else, so... That's gonna be good for now. They got the bare minimum. So I need to make a resource station or a cargo... I need to make a, a cargo bot to be able to connect Sanctuary and uh, Abernathy. And eventually Red Rocket, too. I'm still very confused about this uh, this bridge. I don't know why. I'm I'm assuming it's because like I have, like maybe Horizon adds this nice bridge here. I mean, it does make more sense to have a, a real actual bridge because this rickety piece of shit. Like, <laughs> let's be honest, nobody's driving on this thing. Like, driving a car over that, like a fusion-powered heavy car over that. I don't think so. So this makes a lot more sense. But I think that. Um, I have another mod that might be adding this on top of it, probably. I'll have to, I probably won't though, let's be honest, I, I probably won't bother with it. It doesn't bother me enough to actually do anything about it. Okay, there we go, we have food here now. It should be 20. should be enough for everyone for a while, because you only require one rating per settler, and that one should take care of everything. The farming is a lot more efficient now, which is pretty cool. Um, was there a water section in here now that I should be using? No, it says lights and power. But not water. I don't think I saw a water thing. No, I'm pretty sure water is in, like, regular power generators are still over here. So let's do a medium, I guess. Should be good for now. I feel awkward just placing this on the ground, though. Doesn't really work for me. So let's do a bit of a... little platform here. Come on, you can snap, you can do it. Uh, there we go. That works, that's fine. Immersion is complete. Uh, some things bother me for immersion, some things don't, and it's, it's just, it's a personal thing, you know? All right, so let's do water. We need water resources. Is this not? Where's the water section? Is that moved to horizon now? Cause I don't see water. Normally it's under resources. Well, it's certainly not, not under food, so. 
has to be... Oh, wa okay, right here. Water and town supplies. Okay. So, water pumps, water purification, miscellaneous. I haven't looked at these yet. These are all way out of our reach. Okay. Okay, this is what we want. Just a regular... Regular medium pump should be fine. We want to have some access to... Like, uh... You could even go for three of them. Should be fine. Oh, no. Well, I have to make another... It's fine. I have to make another one of these, but that's okay. So, connect, please. Connect. Um... Uh-oh. Wait, do these not require any power? They don't. They have the power built in. Well, I just made that. Well, I mean, I can still use this. Whatever, we'll put the um, recruitment station over here. I don't have a recruitment station here yet, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, okay. We learned... Recruitment station, these are all the same, pretty much. I'm gonna do one right here, I'm just gonna do a regular one. But yeah, I didn't actually need to have... Oh, this, this is also... Okay, this doesn't need power either. Alright, so let's see here. We're, this is our total, total settlers, we're 5 of 16. Recruitment is on, recruit until f stop at community, that's probably fine. Okay. So power is just used for, like, excess power now? I suppose. So we, we got beds, we got food, we got water, defenses. Sturgis should be happy. Is that... who? You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. I used to live here. A long time ago. Ah, but the distant past ain't so distant for you. I saw you leave that icebox. This whole world is like some bad dream you can't wake up from, isn't it? The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. Here. Already have some. Like a little kick yourself, huh? This'll do. Now. Let me ride the high to where the site wants to take me. Diamond City holds answers, but they're locked tight. You ask them what they know, but people's hearts are chained up with fear and suspicion. But you find it. You find that heart that's gonna lead you to your boy. Oh, it's... it's bright. So bright against the dark alleys it walks. That's... that's what you need to do, kid. Follow the signs to the bright heart. Phew. Wow. That took more out of me than usual. I'm gonna need to rest now, kid. Ma'am. Got a favor to ask you, kid. I know it's silly, but I need a chair. Something with a nicer... Food. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the sure. chair. Be glad to help. Thank there's only so much, there's only so much of this dialogue I can redo, guys. Sorry. I just want the experience. Hey. I need to sit down, kid. Yep, go sit down. Okay. So let's go find Sturgis. That's a hard for your experience. We find Sturgis. It'll be another 180, I think, for the uh, settlement quest. I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. I'm on it. Clean water coming up. <sighs> Great. Yeah, hey, we Sturgis. did it. I feel better already. Knowing we have a uh, Yeah, we already did I'll it. I'll start planting right away. Good deal. It's all it's all there really should be an option. That's not the just right find thing. Find a nice spot of ground and plant whatever you've got. Oh, do I have Anything to assign somebody to it? For us. Is nobody working on it? You're Marcy. You can go dig in the dirt. Because I don't like you.
didn't auto assign for some reason. Sturgis. Well, this place is starting to feel like home. Well, we need you want Come defenses, ah, yeah. Thanks. thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have it's been Uh-huh. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course you know you're welcome. Sure. Windows. Okay, thank you. Give me a my Oh yeah, 200. Nice. Okay, well half a level from that. That's cool. That's all done. Okay. Half an hour later, after Wanderers, he's gonna go, he's gonna go kill some people. We're finally on our way to go and kill some people. Good. So, um, I just want to go and kill the raider camp mostly over here. And take them out. Probably is not great having a couple of raiders spying on us over here. I don't think we're going to do it from this angle, though. It's probably a bad idea. But I want to go over here and get the, uh, mute fruits and stuff that are over here. Other issue with, like, taking my time in dialogue is that we are kind of on a time crunch here, you know? Like, not severe, but I mean... If I'm sitting there for, like, five minutes going through dialogue, it does add up. That burns through my daylight. And, um, this is hard. It's a hard game. With the mods I have on it, we're playing on permadeath, it's, which is also pretty hard, so... I have to be efficient in terms of time. I'll go through, like, major story stuff, but... If it's the stuff that you've all seen a million times, I'm probably gonna skip it. So yeah, I think we can go from the angle over here. I mean, I'm gonna try to be a little sneaky, but let's be realistic. We're in power armor. We're not gonna be super sneaky. I'm still not sure where Dogmeat's at. He just decided not to come with me. I could summon him, I guess, if I wanted to, but that just seems, like, excessive. <clears throat> so if I can get a one-shot on these guys with this thing, I can't, though. So since we can't do a one-shot, I think we just go with this thing instead, which will be a guaranteed one-shot. Even, even if we do it with the reflex sight. Missed him. Did that really miss? I thought for sure that was right on him. Okay, they're on us now. We're just going to calmly walk away from this fight. Not looking for an actual gunfight here. Just a sneaky... A sneaky kill. So is the uh, swords crossed in the left there? Does that indicate combat? I'm assuming. Let's see if it goes away here. I should have I should have like realized this already by now, but uh, you know I'm dumb. Or is that? No, that's that's. I'm pretty sure it's for the combat. We'll see though. If they pop up over the hill here. That'd be fine. I wouldn't mind taking them out that way, but. They want to just de-aggro and go back. Yeah, that's what that is. It is a combat indicator. Cool. I mean, I guess that's nice because you don't have to necessarily be stealth to know that you're in combat then. Like, I would use the... Um, the stealth indicator... To know whether or not it was in combat, and that if you're not using that, like if you're using a mod to get rid of the stealth indicator, then maybe that'd be nice. Just in general, it might be nice to know that you're in combat. Other games have similar functions. Is that a dog? Yeah, it's a dog. That's oh, a bit overkill for the dog. I don't really care about 
Tickling him. Here we go, got him. The attack dog, if you want to walk over here and... We can do some melee, that's fine. I do have more fusion cells back at home, by the way. I'm just kind of hoping I can wait a bit to make them into heavy cells because it's excessive to do 20 to 20 to 7. Um, that recipe, the novice recipe is not as good. I'd like to wait until I can do the better recipe. Ugh, God, I missed him. Ah, oh, come on. Wanderer, stop missing so damn much. We're not that far away. I don't think this thing is perfectly accurate, though. It's not, like, pinpoint perfect accurate. I think it's off a little bit. I wonder what my VATS chances are over here. Wish you would not hide behind the cover back there. They really seem to, uh... The caution goes up a lot if I go over there. I'm not sure, like, this seems to be more open to me. I would think that they'd have an easier time spotting me over here, but whatever. I could run in there and go all oh, Katanaman. Katanaman. Katana man. K Katana man. There we go. I, c I couldn't. I couldn't. My brain couldn't do both of those words at the same time for some reason. There you are. You're back behind the weeds. Come on. You know the shots came from over here. Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. Jesus. My god, that was a lot of rads. Casually walk by a rad barrel and take a million rads, okay. They don't have, like, the new- they don't have- the new texture doesn't have, like, the- I don't know, they're not, like, they're not as brightly colored and... Colonosha. There we go. See, like, that first shot on this guy right here, I'm pretty sure that was right on. Okay, so the attack dog is still here. Which we will take out. With, uh, the katana. Sorry, doggy. You are now literally dog meat. So, like, this isn't even that bad. We actually... We didn't gain any ammo, but... Didn't really lose any either. So this should give us the parts we need. I can scrap it here, obviously. I am paranoid that if I don't pick these up, I'm not going to get the ammo from them, though. Go ahead and scrap it all. Yeah, whatever. Scrap all of it. It's all ruined armor. Well, I wasted more ammo than I would have liked taking these guys out, but I didn't really take any damage, except for the rads, which was unexpected, but... It's just a random event to have the giant radiation barrels over there. I think that's that's it too. Like it's just a an event that you just there's there's rad barrels. That's that's it. There's nothing more to it, as far as I know. I need like a science magazine. So we got all of them. Yeah, one, two, three. One, two, three. 
one more? Should be four, right? Stealth doesn't seem like it's that nerfed in power armor. Like, it doesn't seem like, a, at least not at a distance. I mean, maybe when you're closer, it's a big difference. But from a good distance, it seems like stealth is pretty much the same, which is kind of how I played it before anyway Within when you're in power armor. Just kind of stay as far away as possible. I don't see where the other guy was if there was one, so... Not going to worry about it. Okay, a couple of dogs over here. More food. More experience. Of course we got a weakness. Of course we did. Something looked at us the wrong way. Now we have diseases. Uh, someone commented I should turn on the uh, display. Display. Hold on, it's in here. Uh, let's see. Global options, I think. Um, scrapping options. Gameplay? No. There we go. You're still doing salvaging. Hmm. I mean, I don't want to... I kind of want to do auto loot for all, but I, but like, the issue was that people wanted to see what was on the animals. Uh, I mean, whatever, I guess I'll turn all, I'll turn it off all the way because that's the only way we can really do that is just don't auto loot anything at all. And I'll just be able to see what we get then. Which is better for this, I do agree. I do want to see what I'm getting for these guys, but not for, like, you know, people. I'd rather... This, and actually, though, it might, this might be fine. Okay, yeah, it's actually fine. This is okay. This is fine as it is. I spoke too soon. That works for me. So that was the default option, and we should have left it at that. Let me find the rest of these dogs if I can. Is that... I'm sure we missed one, but it was a chaotic fight, so... There is, like, a loot all button for once you're done harvesting, so I suppose that's nice, too. Okay, do I want to... There is a, some good stuff out here that I want. Um... I don't know if I want to be running out here in power armor, wasting my power armor charges doing this, but there are a few things. I don't even know if I want to go over here, though, because it's, like, going to be rads if I get too close to this thing. Now we're okay here. Okay, yeah, so there's... I am detecting predators tracking your position. Okay. It gives me flashbacks to Subnautica. And, like, it, gi it gives me trauma. Like, uh... When you enter the one zone... And the robot lady voice says, uh... 
I am tracking multiple Leviathan class predators in this area. Are you sure what you're doing is really worth it? Like, you just know there's like three or four Reapers running around and you're just like, oh God, oh God, oh God, get me out of here. Plus it was like a freaky area anyway. Uh, there's a, there's a, uh, shack over here somewhere. I always forget exactly where it's at. But there's a shack around here somewhere, and it... Normally it has a... Well, I guess it's not guaranteed anymore. I guess there's really no reason for me to go there anymore, because it's not guaranteed loot now. Uh, it used to be guaranteed adhesive, because there was a wonder glue in there. But now it's like, well, you might get adhesive, you might not. So... Doesn't matter as much. It's not back here, apparently. Just looking at that texture. Okay, here we go. This is the shack. There's a bunch of um, crops back here that we can get to. And there are a lot of hub flowers back here too, but I can't imagine forcing you guys to watch me walk around. I mean, I have in the past actually uh, nice. forced you guys to wa watch me walk around. Yeah, it's just a small bottle now, so... It's no longer going to be guaranteed adhesive, though I haven't really struggled yet for adhesive. I mean, after looting Conquered and doing some stuff, I, we're okay. So, eh, it's fine. Okay, uh, we're good here. I'm going to go back to Sanctuary now, and uh, I guess we can proceed. Where do we want to go? I mean, I guess we go and talk to the Settlers of Ten Pines and take out the Gunners. Gunners should have some nice loot. If we get lucky, maybe a hunting rifle. That'd be the ideal early game gun. Is a hunting rifle. Pardon you, birds. We've certainly got the firepower to take care of them now. Uh, this thing, yeah, I mean... It's going to be a one-shot kill for this thing... Almost want to get a um, scope on it because huh, it's going to do that now, huh? It's going to do that whole. You don't have a worker assigned to that, but then as soon as you get there, it is assigned. Hopefully, it doesn't bug out and make our settlers unhappy when we're not there. I don't know. Are we good on weight? Oh, we got plenty of weight. The weight is. I forgot how big of a difference it is. In Horizon, power armor has, like, proper increased weight, and, uh... Yeah, you can just carry half the Commonwealth on your back, even with just the basic power armor. Not to mention getting, like, calibrated leggings and stuff on it. That's just crazy. Uh, I don't really want to walk through the lake, I guess, so we'll just go this way. This is going to be a bit of a walk, guys. Um, I'm probably just going to skip to it when we're there. Huh, that seems like I should have blocked that, but it definitely went through damage-wise. That one hit there, I don't know. Maybe the katana has... I, I swear some of the, um, the weapons, like the small ones, they have a smaller block size. Like, normally if you're blocking and you're looking anywhere close the direction of the enemy then you'll you'll block the attack but certain weapons like knife knives almost said knives like combat knife stuff like that doesn't work as well oh boy we got more rad storms rolling in hooray it's this way you dummy your AI is pathing the wrong way. Sheesh. 
Okay, well, we didn't expect the uh, power armor to last forever. This is kind of disposable power armor. Most of it is anyway. Never mind, uh, it's just a regular storm. I always wondered, like, is the twitching intentional? Or is it just like an odd, it has to be an odd physics bug, right? Like, it has to be. Yeah, a cracked Nuka Cola bottle and nothing else. Well, right, there are some caps here. Caps are so incredibly hard to come by in Horizon on Desolation. Like, it's actually insane how difficult it is to make money. Hey, this way, AI, over here. Yeah, there you go. It's been about 50-50 so far in the comments, by the way, on whether or not people like the uh, harvesting cast bar or whatever. Already got that right? Yeah, we're good. So some people really like it. It's very immersive. Other people are, are you know, of the same opinion of me. Yeah, it's, it's immersive, I guess, but like... I mean, I could also like look at the animation, I suppose, in third person when I did it. But it was always, I don't know, like, it was always a... I, I guess I, I understand the idea, which is that, like... On one hand, it does make sense, because... You wouldn't, like, want to be looting stuff in combat, you know? Like, you because it puts you at risk, that's kind of the point of it, right? I'm not disagreeing... That it, like, makes sense to have it. I'm just saying from a gameplay perspective, I'm not the biggest fan. Excuse me. We could really use your help. I'd be glad to. Just tell me what's going on. We're having a lot of trouble with a group of raiders. Stealing our food and supplies? Do you think you can persuade them to leave us alone? Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. Oh, good. It'll be a relief not to have to worry about them. That's interesting. Um, he didn't give us, like, the... So it's, it's down at Corvega, right? Um... Wait a minute. In... Oh my god, I've... I've only ever had this happen, like, one or two other times. Interesting. So, for some reason, we have to go to Oberlin Station instead of uh, Ten Pines Bluff. So, where are we going for Ten Pines Bluff? Oh, wait. No, it is. Yeah, it's Corvega. So, where did the Oberlin Station... Oh, God, we have to go all the way down there? Have to go all the way to, like, to Diamond City for this? It's a freaking trek there, Preston. Can I not loot these now again? They have been nerfed. No free Tatoes. They have collision now too, you can't just walk through them. It's interesting. Okay. Uh oh. Who's fighting who, and what? Oh, it's... Are they shooting at Kelly? The heck are you guys fighting?
Oh, this is Brad Scorpion. Well, good luck, fellas. I'm gonna let you duke it out. And then there's the mole rat mine guy here, too. Oh, no, it's actually a suicider. Uh-oh. Well, that takes care of that. If you guys stop... Wait, is there another one up here? Oh, okay. Kelly took care of whatever it was. Good job, Kelly. I want to buy your Brahmin, but I really just don't have 100 caps right now. Or if I do have 100 caps, I'm not willing to spend them on a Brahmin at this point. Even though they will be useful later on. Did I not... I don't think I got the stuff over here yet. Yeah, there's some free stuff here. Got these various signs. Did the Scorpion and the Super Mutant just like... Have, they call a truce? What's going on here? Him. It's a one-shot kill. Regardless, I don't want to use all my ammo for this, though. Nuclear material. I don't think I can scrap the uh, main nukes yet. Normally, I would not blow them up that way. I'd try to kill them and then take the, the main nuke because it's worth more. Ooh, sanitized water. Okay. At least he has good stuff. All right, we can't... Um, oh, so if you go to scrap them now, it just it loots them automatically. That bugged the heck out of me. I'm glad that's, that's a good change. So, for whatever reason, you cannot, uh, you cannot salvage super mutants in the field like you can other stuff. Where's the other guy at, then? Or did he kill the, the scorpion? He must have killed him. Can I see these guys from over here? Probably not. I mean, I probably could if they would pop their heads out, but I don't think they will. So the rat scorpion must be dead. Okay, well... I've got a date with some gunners. They're gonna show me a real good time. And we're gonna cross our fingers for a hunting rifle. Or a custom rifle would be okay too. It might use this. I think all rifles. Do all rifles now use the same ammo set? I think they might actually. I thought it was like very standardized now. It might be, though, it might be like. Pistols use one ammo set, then rifles use an ammo set, both like automatic and uh, semi-automatic. And then you have like sniper rifles that use a different ammo set. That would make more sense to me, but oh lord, this texture didn't load. I'm going to have to reload the game because walking over this thing is going to be interesting. Maybe I can pull it off. It depends. Sometimes the text, if it loads like above, it's like impossible to... Excuse me, why is it... Why is... Why am I looking that way to see the machine gun turret? It's... It's right there. That's... That's dumb. I can't use VATS to auto-target it. Is that it right there? I'm pretty sure it is. No, it wasn't it. Crap, I can't tell. Right there? The lighting is poor. That wasn't it. Shit. That was it. It just didn't hit. I don't know. Oh my god, this angle sucks. The lighting sucks, I can't see it. I 
everything has gone horribly wrong. I'm just gonna wait for it to de-aggro. Oh, crap. That's why I don't like having those textures off or on, or those, those textures messed up like that. To be fair, I think that was just my user error more than anything else. It's all, it's got all kinds of, uh, well, it's not gonna be able to shoot through the sandbags either, so, I mean, yeah, like, it's, it's got, it's got sandbags around now. I'm pretty sure this has been added by Horizon to make it harder to kill, but, like, at the same time, it causes it to have line of sight issues, so you can just walk by it now, which is, like, seems a bit short-sighted to me. Didn't one shot you? A sneak attack with 70 freaking damage? Whatever. You got some good stuff for me? It's a regular SMG, it's not bad. Uh, light combat armor. It's all ruined. I guess I hit them in the arm and just took their arm off. Also an SMG, not very good. Uh, also light ruined armor, okay. I'm still hidden here, it's pretty hilarious to be honest. Hello, turret. Surprise. My god, that was a lot. Holy moly. A little bit tanky there, turret. It's probably like 150 damage from this thing. I guess they have high energy resist or something. That was crazy. Hey, blood packs. Wasn't there just like one of them here normally? I, f I feel like this entire place has been modified by Horizon in some ways, like, that it feels like you don't normally get three blood packs there. Maybe I'm just misremembering. It has been a while. Only have three shots left. There should be one more person down here. Trying to see them through the, uh... The gap there. I don't see him though. Maybe not though. Sometimes there's no one down here. Oh god, this texture. The thing is, I have to close the game completely and reload. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, he was over there. Yeah, there's the gunner colonel. There's the there's the big guy. I did look around. I guess he was around a corner somewhere and I couldn't see him. Get some, is that all you know how to say? You're not gonna be able to there's there's a there's a mesh there. You can't shoot through that car. Ow, that kinda hurt. How about you reload? There. What a waste of ammo, man. Spamming those shots at me. I hope there's no gaps around here. 
Okay, anything good. A hunting rifle, that's exactly what I wanted. Is it? Is it in good condition? Oh, that's not bad. I mean, minus 15 is whatever. Oh, he's got a nice uh, laser pistol too. Okay, and all his armor is ruined. That's kind of bad luck. Okay, there's a free laser pit or laser rifle up here. That's not. I'm I'm curious to see the laser rifle. It's not a laser musket, just a regular laser rifle. And I'm curious to see if it has the same stats when used with a heavy fusion cell. It looks pretty similar. So if I put this on and then use my weapon kit and then switch it to heavy. How much damage is it? Is it based on... This is way more reasonable. Uh, 55 damage versus my musket. And it's even worse condition. Like, I don't know. Plus 20 damage? I mean, I guess because it's a single shot weapon, but maybe the ammo counts and stuff have been buffed on the other ones. That, that would make sense, I guess. But the damage disparity there is pretty big. And because, like, ammo is so precious anyways, it's not like you're going to want to spam shots, right? You're going to want to pick your shots carefully. At least in Horizon. And here's where a wanderer falls through because he doesn't know what he's doing because the textures are bugged out. It's a pain in the butt. You have to reload the entire game to fix that. I don't have to go and edit it out in the recording, and it's just a pain in the butt. I think that's everything here, though. Yeah, I think we're done here. Okay, that's fine. There's, um... The plane, too, we can check out. Skyline's flight. It's, like, more north-ish, I think. Or is it over here? Is that literally the plane right there? It might be the plane right there. Let's swap to this thing, though. I thought I brought more 9 mil with me. I thought I brought, like, 50 or so with me. Don't think I used them. On anything. What do we got over here this time? Some ghouls. Okay, ghouls are fine. Only one I can see from here. There's going to be more, though. You're going to immediately aggro on me, aren't you? There you are. All right. Harvest, huh? Level up. Nice. Have the option... To harvest them? For what? Can get diseased and grisly meat? I mean... Look, it's hunting skill, guys. So, we're gonna do it. But... That's nasty. I mean, I guess, you know, it's a good way to get bones. It's 
time for some healing though, I think. Some right away. Not sure what the exclamation point. Oh, it's the weakness. That's because we have a, a disease, probably. Oh, I don't. Do I have any buff out? I could probably cure it if I had buff out. No. I'm not going to use the cure X for it. I'll just wait till I get some buff out. Um. Right, we're doing healing. Oh. I had more than that. Did it use, like, all of my... Didn't I just have more first aid supplies than that? I could have sworn I did, but um, I guess not. I thought I saw more. I have to watch it back in the video. I thought I saw more in there than that. And then after I used the rat away, it was... They were all gone. But I could have been mistaken, too. It is an alpha, there could be bugs. Sweet. Or I could just be a moron and I just didn't see it correctly. Hey, look at that. We can we can get in here already because we have lock picking skill really high. That makes me very happy. Because you never remember to come back here. Yes. Would you look at all that ammo? Oh and look at that. Eight buff out. Oh man. That is nice. It's really, really crappy loot because it's low level, but, uh... Still amazing. Should be some spare... random ammo around here. Like, loose ammo. Oh, there's one. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back, though, because... I mean, I was going to go back anyway after this little excursion, but now we really have to go back because I don't have any healing. And, I mean, I feel pretty comfortable in the power armor. I don't feel like I'm really at big risk of dying, even with kind of low health, but I feel, like, I feel like I could run away from a fight if I had to, you know? That's it. Hey, multiple, ma there's all of our magazines. We finally found them. They were in this safe all the time. Hey, low-grade steel. That's going to be really useful for making power armor upgrades. And actually crafting some power armor. We're going to have to craft some pieces. I looked at it and, like, crafting some raider power armor is probably the way we'll have to go. Unless I can get a bunch of levels. Well, I guess I have two now. Um, could I do two in the metalworking? We could actually do two in the, in the metalworking. Um... I don't think you can ever craft higher than Raider Power Armor, though. I'll have to check, but having two in Metalworking would be great because then we can actually make some good steel plating and the Power Armor will become a lot stronger. I was a bit worried about Power Armor, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of worried it wasn't going to be... It was going to be too nerfed when I first saw it, but I think it's okay. And laser musket is straight up overpowered. I don't know. I think 20 damage is too much. Now that I've thought about it a bit, I think 20, 20 extra damage, the, 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 the disparity between uh, the laser rifle, either like that or laser rifle should be buffed a little bit. One or two. I, I would never advocate for nerfing energy weapons because I enjoy energy weapons, but, you know. I'm not saying they should be totally even, the laser musket and the uh, laser rifle. I understand why they're different, and I appreciate it. Because you want to have a reason to use the, the laser musket, but at the same time, I think 20 is too much. That's it. 
maybe like 10 or 15. Oh. Can I... I can't do this yet. There's a random destroyed power armor frame. So these are going to be like a thing now, huh? It's going to be a thing that you find in places. That's really cool. There was like a whole skeleton in this thing too. I guess that makes sense. There would have been people running around in power armor. I Maybe salvaging is going to be worth getting though early on now because I kind of want to salvage those. I'm sure they're going to be really good for parts. It's going to help my salvaging skill too. 80 is a bit much though. Can I even really get to 80? I mean, I suppose I could. I'd have to go with uh, Scrapper 1 and 2. Yeah, I totally could. Scrapper 1 and 2 and then Technologist 1 and 2. And that would do it. It would just be plus, you know, four perks I'd have to use on those early on. It's a lot. Hey, a bunch of stim packs. Or a bunch of, um... A bunch of fusion cells. If it was a bunch of stim packs, I'd be ecstatic. Oh yeah, we got the buff out, right? So we might as well use it. Go ahead and cure ourselves, right? There we go. We no longer have weakness. This thing has some good stuff in it. Nice. I like all the changes so far. They all seem pretty immersive. Do we get some power armor there? That seemed like it was some power armor. I didn't get a chance to look properly because my hands were too grabby as usual. No, I don't think we did. Okay, now here's the question. Can I still make this jump? Where did I do it from? Was it... I thought it was like here, but... Definitely... Maybe it was here. I don't know. Well, that was an epic fail. Am I over-encumbered? Yeah, if I get in my power armor, I'm way over-encumbered. Okay, well, uh, can I even jump from here? No, we can't. How about here? This, this'll work. Maybe. Oh my gosh. It's doable. I've done it. We can get that without even doing it. What was giving me rad? It's gotta be like a uh, ghoul around here somewhere. Wonder if I could actually. get to this another way. Or just cheese it to loot that thing. We're going to clip on the side here if we try to jump from there. Oh, come on. No, I feel like jumping has been nerfed. I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm just... getting bad at video games, but... Feels like I was able to get up there before. Maybe because I wasn't in power armor. Uh, I'll try, purely because people will get upset if I don't try it without power armor, but I don't think it matters. Hell yeah. Almost forgot my magazine over here. I need to find a container though. Just, okay, this will work. Just stash stuff in. That'll do. Don't ask how I shoved all that stuff. Oh, you know what I could do? <laughs> if I wanted to be really cheeky, you know what I could do? I could use the power armor. Wait, am I really over encumbered? No, we're good. Why am I moving so slow? Am I crippled? Oh. Okay. 
Do I have trauma kits? Because I don't... Uh... Oh. That's not good. This doesn't give me... Yeah, can I make a trauma kit in the field? With the uh, field kit? Medical crafting... Oh, there is a craft trauma kit option there. Uh, I don't have the stuff for it, though. Well, that's really unfortunate. So you still get your limbs crippled while in power armor. It just doesn't matter because you're in power armor. Let's see. Well, there goes my master plan. That might be why we can't jump very well, too. Okay. Never mind. Well, we're in pretty rough shape. We're in rougher shape than I thought. I don't know why we're taking so many rads over here. What the heck is all the rads? It's not usually, there's not usually that many rads over there. Anyway. I'm gonna be heading back because it's getting dark. As you can see, though, we can actually see now at night. It, it was it was a combination of the ENB I use plus the weather mod. Like it's it's not wouldn't be right to blame one or the other. They just weren't made for each other. Each other. So I had to hiccup in the middle of my speech. We can get this real quick, though. There's uh. Some stuff here. I, I'm curious though, does I mean it would make sense that being crippled reduces your jump height, but I'm not sure if that's actually a mechanic or not. It definitely seems like it does. There's no indicator that I'm crippled though from in the power armor. I mean you're technically not, because you're not moving slow or anything. but I don't know if it affects your jump height or not. I was a superior swordsman, clearly. Sorry about your luck, buddy. Is your katana better than mine? Nah, it's like the same as mine. Okay. Cannot loot all this ceramic because it's not needed anymore. Or well, it's not, I guess, as needed anymore. still is used for some stuff, like, uh, power armor crafting, I'm pretty sure. You can use, like, a ceramic upgrade. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm misremembering. Oh, there's, uh, we're over by the, um, there's, uh, power armor over here. Just gotta go for a quick swim. Never know, might find some decent pieces we could use. We're crippled and very over encumbered though, so that's gonna be interesting. I don't wanna just dump everything on the ground, you know, before I jump in here. I don't think that power armor actually, because our power armor is not sealed properly now, it's not going to give us breathing either. We're right by Lexington. I guess I could just find a container in there to stash some stuff in and then do it like that. But yeah, there's a chance for a fusion core and a chance for some good stuff. This texture is 
proper. It's not messed up like the other one was. <coughs> okay, well, there's one in Mystic Pines, too. It's like a guaranteed free fusion core over here. Wasn't planning on going to Lexington just yet, but I mean, we're here. May as well pick up the fusion core and stash our stuff, get the other power armor. And we can call it good. Plus, there's some other free stuff here. We'll just go ahead and loot it, I guess. I have yes. room, right? Plenty of room? Yeah, we, we're fine. 400 plus room. That went out, I guess, because... Or went up, I guess, because of the buff out. It must last a lot longer than it used to. Surprise is still going. Place has been pretty picked over, but there's still some useful junk around. Okay. Downstairs in the back is where the fusion core is at. Not in here, but we'll go in here too. A couple first aid kits too. Maybe I'll get lucky and find uh, limb trauma supplies. Rest in peace. What could have been... Hey, first aid supplies. More first aid supplies. Rest in peace. What could have been uh, some adhesive though. Well, that's good. I need the first aid supplies really badly, so... I do like the, uh, like, for first aid stuff, I like the... the cast bar or whatever for that. I think that makes a lot of sense. I've had animations would be even better. Like, not... not, like, agony animations, though. If you know what I'm talking about with that mod, I don't need to see my character snap their wrist back into place. No thank you. That is why I don't use that mod, because it's the sound and the visuals of your character literally snapping their wrist back into place when it's broken. Ugh, I can't do it, guys. I cannot do it. I'm fine with, like, the cartoony violence of blowing somebody's limbs off like but seeing my own character do it I, I cannot yes this might be nerfed actually this might be yeah it's malfunctioning that's right and it's like guaranteed to be malfunctioning too I don't know Zono just picks a couple of them and is just like oh nope Wanderer knows about that when we gotta nerf it not sure why that one in particular deserved the nerf bat, but okay. Alright, um... Well, this is Lexington, but I don't think I'm gonna go poking around too far into Lexington just yet. We're a bit short on ammo. We did get a nice hunting rifle, which I'm really happy about. Uh, where are you at, hunting rifle? Yeah, this is pretty awesome. That's our new... I mean, doing 40 damage, close to 40 damage on a scoped weapon with perfect pinpoint accuracy um, with 5.56 five, rounds is pretty good. But I don't think we'll head into Lexington today. We're, we do have the room to carry stuff, but... I feel like it's a bad idea with how low our health is and how little medical supplies we have. Need to go back and craft some stuff. And I need to figure out what I'm doing for power armor too, because I think at this point I can probably craft some legs. Since uh, our power armor breaks power armor legs broke. We could go over here and get the uh yeah, Starlight Drive in real quick. There's Nuclear material material here as well, and a bunch of vehicles we can scrap for nuclear material too. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be good. Plus... Some meat. 
Why are we taking so many rads near that? It's like the rads have been extended. Are there more? Pretty sure there are more. Yep. Whoa. I totally... Whoa! That's crazy how many rads that gives you now. Like, that's just nuts, okay. Yeah, there's one more mole rad over here. Can't get anywhere near... Like, the rads have been pumped way up. I guess because... We're not in sealed power armor... Anymore. Okay, buddy, you got staggered there. You really should have been staggered after that hit, but whatever. We're still not getting a whole bunch of meat off of these guys, even with decent hunting skill. No, nope. harvest, please. There we go. Yeah, we'll do a big gold scrap all here, and, uh, after we claim it, because I'm far too lazy, carry everything back we can with us that's, like, important, that's good. Then be on our way back home. I am breaking bobby pins left and right today. Didn't break any like my first episode. Nice, some adhesive. Okay, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna... Make the comments mad. I've never had an issue with it, guys. I really haven't. In like a hundred plus long episode, Horizon playthroughs never had an issue. Well, we can actually carry everything. Okay, we can just take it all, I guess. That's fine. Uh, we got a bunch of vehicle scrap, yeah. That's not what I wanted to do. At all. I need to look at, Hold on. I need to look at... If we got any vehicle scrap. That would be not in components, but down here. Oh, yeah. Not that great, though. It's only nine nuclear material total. I mean, we got a bunch of basic circuitry and stuff, too, which is great. But, uh, not as much as I would have liked. There's different kinds of vehicle scrap you can get, though. And I may have just gotten very unlucky. Or it might be that because we scrapped it in that way, it went like that. I think that this should be... That was a bit stupid and risky, actually. But yeah, that there's a bomb here that you'd normally have to scrap. But I didn't have to. Yeah, this is all scrapped. Okay. I mean, scrap all does the thorough job always, so... I'd say yes, we're good. Okay, well, guys, uh, it's time to head on back. Um, I might do some of the walking back off screen since it's nighttime and everything, and I'll probably see you in the morning. I want to check around the back here to make sure we got everything. The scrap all got everything in here. Yeah, it did. Okay, we got everything important over here. What about in here? Got everything in here, but I didn't actually get the lock yet, so I guess for immersion purposes we ought to Sweet. open the lock. Plus, it's free lock picking skill. Doesn't a uh, thing pop out here? Maybe not. Maybe we scrapped his 
spawn point on accident. Oh well. It's like a rad roach. It's not a big deal. Okay. Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.